Well, hello there. Welcome back to the Bad Monkey Show. My name is Alex. Hope you're staying safe and well wherever you are. Today's video is going to be a follow up to another one that I did a few weeks ago where I talked about my favorite 11 WordPress plugins for the year 2020 2021. So today I'm going to be listing my favorite top six plugins for WooCommerce. Now you might be wondering, Hold on a second, why just six? After all, there are hundreds, maybe even thousands of plugins available for WooCommerce. Why just six? Well, in order to make this list, the plugins need to satisfy three requirements. Requirement number one is that these are plugins that I've actually used before. With that being said, I'm pretty sure there are plugins out there that I've never even heard of that might be better than these plugins, but until I find out about them, the plugins I'm going to list for you are my favorite six that I've used so far. So requirement number two is that they also need to have at least a free version. There are some really awesome WooCommerce plugins that are really powerful, but I could not list them because they don't have free versions. You actually have to buy the plugin before you can use it in any way. So some of the plugins on this list do have paid versions, but at the very least, they have free versions that you can work with and then you can decide to go ahead and purchase the paid version if you want to. And then the third and final requirement, which is probably the most important requirement, is that these are plugins that you can use across every type of WooCommerce website. It doesn't matter if you're selling physical goods like clothes or appliances. It doesn't matter if you're selling digital products like online courses or images or audio files or videos or what have you. It doesn't matter if you have a dropshipping store. As long as you have WooCommerce installed on your site, these six plugins, you can use every one of them. So they're kind of like universal plugins that work across every type of WooCommerce website. That's why they're just six in number. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right in. All right, the first plugin on our list here is going to be the Stripe Payment Gateway. Now, the beauty about Stripe is that it offers your customers an alternative means of paying for your products or services uh, from just uh, PayPal. Now, PayPal has been around for a very, very long time. And by default, PayPal is integrated with WooCommerce. But with Stripe, you will need to have an account with Stripe and then also install the plugin for Stripe and connect your Stripe account to your WooCommerce website. Now, the plugin itself is completely free. And if you need some help setting up your Stripe account, how to connect WooCommerce with Stripe, be sure to check out my WooCommerce uh, 4.0 complete tutorial that I uploaded earlier this year. And you can skip to the uh, one hour and a half mark where I show you how you can set up Stripe. The second plugin on our list here is going to be the Checkout Field Editor, otherwise known as the Checkout Manager for WooCommerce by Theme High. Now, one tip I can give you for your WooCommerce website is that you want to make the checkout process as easy as possible for them, which usually means the less fields they have to fill out, the better for them. Now, take a look at the default checkout page made by WooCommerce and under the billing details, the customer has to fill out the first name, last name, the country, the street address, the town, city, state, county, the zip code, and then the email address. Now, many times you might discover that you actually don't need some of this information from your customers. Now, take a look at a second checkout page where all I have here would be the first name, last name, email address, the option for the customer to choose weekend shipping, and then simply additional information if they need to add any more information about what they're buying or if they have any personal message to me as the person selling the service or product to them and then the country region. Now, this is made possible by the checkout field editor. You can remove any unnecessary fields that you don't need or that your customers don't need to fill out in order to complete the purchase. And then you can actually add custom fields yourself. In this case right now, the weekend shipping option and then the additional information option, these fields, I created with the checkout field editor. So be sure to install this plugin and remove any unnecessary fields that your customers are currently filling out. And then if need be, you can add custom fields that can further enhance the checkout experience for your customers. The third plugin on this list might quite possibly be my favorite WooCommerce plugin, and that is the WooCommerce Cart Abandonment Recovery Plugin by Catflows Inc. Now what this plugin does is that sometimes 
you may have customers who come to your store, they add items to their cart, like over here, for example, and then rather than completing the checkout process, maybe they close the page and then they go elsewhere. What this plugin does is that it's able to keep track of such customers and with this plugin, you can send follow up emails to those customers. So as an example, here is a typical sequence. The first email will be sent after one hour when they did not complete the checkout process, asking if there was any technical issues, say for example, maybe they had troubles checking out, things like that. And then the second email will be sent after 24 hours, reminding them that, hey, you know, you came to our store, you added these items to your cart. Now is a good time to complete the checkout process. And then you could send a third and final email after 72 hours, offering them a unique uh, coupon code that can give them a 5% discount, a 10% discount. By the way, you can send as many emails as you want whenever you want uh, with this plugin. You just need to install it and then set it up. And best of all is the fact that this plugin is completely free. I do have the full tutorial on my YouTube channel. Just search for WooCommerce Abandonment Recovery Plugin, How to Recover Abandoned Cats on my channel and I'll show you exactly how you can set up and work with this amazing plugin. The next plugin on the list is the WP Notification Bar plugin by My Theme Shop. Now, what this plugin does is that it allows you to create custom notifications that can be displayed at the top of your website. Here's an example. A Christmas sale, get all courses for just you know, $9.99, offer end soon, and then a link to uh, buy now. So you can create uh, custom notifications like this for different kinds of occasions. Uh, maybe it's the Easter holidays, maybe it's Valentine's Day, maybe it's Christmas Day, and maybe it's the Black Friday sales, whatever. Or maybe you're just running a site-wide promotion uh, randomly. You can just create custom notifications informing your customers about the sale. Now, there is a free version and also a paid version of this plugin and let me just show you very quickly what it looks like over here at the back end with the free version uh, you can create this particular kind of notification with the paid version uh, you can do other things like you know create a countdown uh, things like that you can add social media uh, Facebook feeds, you can add a pop-up video, a search form, uh, and so much more. Of course, you can also do all the styling, add your background color, the text color, and then you can set the conditions, you know, how many times uh, should this bar be shown, uh, on what pages should it be shown, on what pages should it not be shown, and so on and so forth. But this is definitely a plugin that you want to have installed on your WooCommerce website. The next plugin on our list here is the Yeath WooCommerce Gift Cards plugin by Yeath, Y-I-T-H. And let me just read you something they have over here on the plugin page. And it says, the projected market of the last year's trends expects that in 2024, gift card sales will hit an income of $698 billion. Who wouldn't prefer a gift card to an item purchased carelessly by someone who maybe doesn't even really know what you would like to receive on our birthday or at Christmas. And that pretty much sums up what this plugin does. But this plugin, you can create virtual gift cards on your store that customers can then buy and then give to the loved ones who then will be able to use the gift card to purchase whatever they want to buy on your store. Now here is like a live demo, for example, you can create a gift card like this, and then you can also create different amounts specifically for that gift card. So in this case right now, three different amounts have been created for this particular gift card. You have 10 euros, 25 euros, 50 euros. The customer can come in here and then say, okay, I'm gonna buy a gift card worth 50 euros. I'll buy it and then send it to my brother or my sister or my girlfriend. And then they will then be able to use the card to buy something on your store. So this is definitely a plugin you wanna have installed and configured on your WooCommerce store. The final plugin on our list here is going to be the Uncanny Automator. And it's also a plugin I listed in my ultimate our uh, top 11 WordPress plugins for 2020, 2021. This is an amazing plugin for creating automations on your store. And specifically with WooCommerce, you can do some pretty cool things. As an example, take a look at this, okay? I can choose WooCommerce as my integration. And then let's say, for example, I wanted to create an automation when a user buys a particular product. I can choose the product in here. For example, let's go with the Pizza Masterclass. I can save this. And then I can add the action that will be carried out once the user has bought this product. 
I can go over here to WordPress and then say, I'm going to send them an email thanking them specifically for buying this particular product. You can also create other triggers like when a user has viewed a product, you can send them an email, you can upgrade their user role, you can do so many things. And then with the paid version, you have access to more automations like uh, when a user has canceled a subscription to a product, when they complete an order, uh, maybe when they buy a product from a particular category or tag and so much more. Now I do have an extensive tutorial on how to use the plugin be sure to check it out here on my YouTube channel. But when it comes to WooCommerce automations, you definitely want to check out Uncanny Automator by Uncanny Owl. Well, there you have it, my top six plugins for WooCommerce. And just as a follow-up to the very last plugin we talked about, there is a specific plugin for WooCommerce automation called Automate Woo. It is really powerful, it is awesome, and I might actually make a full tutorial on how to use this plugin. The only problem is that there is no free version. You actually have to pay about $100 in order to use the plugin. So I might make a different tutorial describing exactly how to use this plugin because it is really awesome. But with that being said, this has been my video on the top six plugins for WooCommerce. And of course, if you have any comments, if you know of any plugins that are really awesome for WooCommerce, be sure to put them down in the comment section below. Do you agree with my list? Do you disagree? Let me know what your thoughts are. I would love to hear from you. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial here on the WebMonkey YouTube channel. And of course, if you feel this video would be useful to anyone that you know, be sure to share the video with them. My name is Alex. It's been a pleasure. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.